Hi students, today in this session we are going to check whether the given acid is peroxy acid or not. So whether the given acid is peroxy acid or not. So peroxy acid means it consists of some peroxy bonds. So in order to know that first we have to calculate the oxidation states of the central elements. So here we have to calculate the oxidation state of phosphorus here for sulfur and here phosphorus and here again for sulfur. So how to calculate the oxidation state? So I gave you in the previous video how to calculate the oxidation states for several molecules. You just go through with the video. And now so here we have to calculate the oxidation state of phosphorus. So here it is plus 1 and x here minus 2. So 3 plus x minus 10 equal to 0. So x equal to plus 7. Next plus 1 and x and minus 2. So 2 plus 1. Sorry 2 into plus 1 that is 2 plus x minus 10 equal to 0. So here x equal to plus 8. And here hydrogen plus 1 phosphorus x and oxygen minus 2. So 3 plus x minus 8 equal to 0. 2 4 are 8. So x equal to plus 5. So here plus 1 x and minus 2. 2 plus 2x minus 16 equal to 0. So 2x equal to 14. So x equal to plus 7. Okay. In this way we can calculate the oxidation states of the central elements. So you have to go through with the previous video. If you have any doubt you can clarify in the previous videos. Okay. So now this phosphorus belongs to fifth group element. Phosphorus belongs to fifth group element. Whereas the sulfur belongs to sixth group element. So that means this phosphorus has valence electrons. Number of valence electrons equal to 5. Number of valency electrons is equal to 5. For this sulfur the number of valence electrons is equal to 6. So here oxidation state means an element exhibit oxidation state either by losing electrons or by gaining electrons. So here phosphorus valence is 5 means it can maximum it can exhibit plus 5 oxidation state. And sulfur valence electrons are 6 means it can maximum it can exhibit plus 6 oxidation state. So but here it exhibits plus 7 oxidation state. That means it is greater than the number of valence electrons. So that's why this is the peroxy acid. You can remember like this. If an element exhibits more than the number of valence electrons oxidation state. Okay. If an element exhibits the oxidation state is more than the number of valence electrons. Then it is said to be a peroxy acid. So here also sulfur. Sulfur valence is 6 only. But it exhibits plus 8 oxidation state. So that's why it is also a peroxy acid. And here H3PO4. Phosphoric acid. This is ortho phosphoric acid. So here it exhibits plus 5. That is less than or equal to. Less than or equal to. That means it is plus 5 oxidation state. So here it is not the peroxy acid. And now H2S2O8. It is also peroxy acid. Because it exhibits plus 7 oxidation state. So here this one H3PO5 means this is called peroxy phosphoric acid. Peroxy phosphoric acid. And this is called peroxy sulfuric acid. Peroxy sulfuric acid. This is also called as chorus acid. Chorus acid. And this one is ortho phosphoric acid and this one is peroxy disulfuric acid peroxy disulfuric acid it is also called as martial acid martial acid so you have to remember all these names so now so among these compounds this one is not the peroxy acid remaining all the peroxides okay clear so now here is a small question for you so calculate the oxidation state of phosphorus in h3po3 calculate the oxidation state of phosphorus in h3po3 this h3po3 means ortho phosphorus acid 
we have discussed about this in the previous video so what is the structure of this molecule you go through with that so and calculate what is the base city of the acid base city of the acid so here you have to calculate the oxidation state of phosphorus the first question is oxidation state of phosphorus you have to calculate oxidation state and second one base city of the acid what is the base city of the acid h3po3 what is the base city of the h3po3 okay thank you please like the session share the session and subscribe to my channel please don't forget to comment me on comment box thank you